Well, hello there, YouTube. I uh, thank you, viewers, for watching my videos. And uh, what we're doing today is I'm going to show you how to make a wonderful steering wheel simply out of a piece of chain. It's all you need: a welder, a grinder, a, a torch, and a piece of chain. Doesn't matter if it's an old, crusty piece of chain you got out of the scrapyard somewhere. Rather than throwing it away, make a steering wheel. Go-karts, you could even use it for your hot rod. Um, in a previous video, we built a monster truck Mustang, and we were in grave need of a steering wheel for this Mustang. And uh, so, I being a, a very cheap individual, I don't like to spend a lot of money, I don't have to, I built a chain steering wheel for that uh, Mustang, and it turned out great. I will show you how to do the same. All right, first thing you're need, gonna need is a uh, something round, like a bucket. Um, it's best if you can find one that's metal or something like that because uh, these plastic ones, well, when they get hot, they tend to melt. So, metal's better. But this is what I have, so this is what I'm gonna demonstrate with. Second, you're gonna need a piece of chain that's long enough for uh, to make the steering wheel. All right, so first step, they just take the chain, go around the bucket, and mark which link the two come together at. Uh, you're going to want them to just barely overlap and not, not be too loose, not be too tight. That way you don't have too much of an overlap on a link. So um, mark your link and uh, go ahead and, and cut it off with a right angle grinder. So this is our link right there. Alrighty. So I take my vice grips and uh, clamp it onto that link. That way it keeps my fingers out of the way of the grinder. I, I tried that on my thumb. It's very highly unpreferable. Don't grind your thumb. It's a bad idea. Um, so uh, let's keep our hands clear of the grinder. Right angle grinder and go ahead and just knock both sides till that uh, till that falls out. And you know I think I'm gonna wear eye protection because this is dangerous to your eyes. You can't get your eyes back. Always wear eye protection. Now that the link is cut off, let's wrap our chain around the bucket again, and uh, we'll see if we'll double check and make sure that it's going to be the right size. All right, so wrapped around. There we go. We've got a good fit. All right, so the second, the next thing we want to do is we want to take one of these links and just make a make a cut in one side. That way we can spread it and connect the chain together. All right, so I went, and went ahead and put a cut in that. Now what we're going to want to do is put a screwdriver in there and, and uh, bend it far enough that we can get our other link on the inside. Once we get our link on the inside, then we'll go ahead and bend it back and then weld that back up. That way we have a full circle chain. Let's see, so we'll go ahead and bend that. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I want all the links to be lined up so that we have a uniform steering wheel when we're all done want the top link to support the same layout as the bottom one. And you take that and roll it around and hook it in. Okay, so we got a full circle now. All right, now I'm going to move my vice grips to, to the end of the link. That way we can pound this back together. We'll lay it flat on the ground. Now, we'll just go ahead and pound that back down. All right. 
perfect. And see, we got it all hooked together. Got another link right here because I hooked two chains together. I ran out of the same size chain, so this will uh, this will do for demonstration. All right, so now now that we got that hooked together, put a bucket in there. Make sure that the, uh, the chain is all the way around the bucket. Make sure it's grounded well. Perfect. That's good. All right, so we take our vice grips and just clip it on one of the links where you want to start. Just like so. And then uh, that way it doesn't pull it up off of the ground. You want it to be totally down on the ground with the bucket totally down on the ground. Then you take your uh, your welding lead and uh, connect the ground to your vice grips. That way the power can go through to this link without uh, messing up the layout of your chain. All right. Okay, so now we want to take our welder and uh, start at the, the first one next to your vice grips and you just tack each link all the way around one at a time, one after another, all the way around. If you start in one spot and go, then the ground is gonna travel through the welds that you just made. And so once you get all of that done and tacked on there, then you can start with the inside, like this. Okay, take three equal lengths of chain, weld them to a nut, and uh, at the end of each length of chain, Go ahead and cut one of those grooves in the in the end link, spread it apart so that it can hook onto the rest of your steering wheel, and then uh, as it when it's all laid out how you want it, lift it up on something like the jack stand and weld it together like you did previously. All right, so um, we got our steering wheel. Okay, that's good stuff. Okay, so here what what we did. So I just took a bunch of chain and. Uh, Welded it all together. My welds are crappy as all get out, but hey, they're gonna work. I smacked it around a bunch, make sure that it was tough. So what we're gonna do is weld a mounting plate and then mount it up to our monster truck. <laughs> 